Okay, in this presentation, what we are going to do is look at tidying up data. Now, essentially, it's actually more so actually better to, uh, the way of describing it is converting from wide to long. Okay, now I'm taking a very specific uh, approach to this. This is more so for publishing data. So if you're going to sort of get a data data set ready for publication in a paper or something like that and just want to finalize everything. Now, the packages I'm going to use are dplyr and tidyr and also magritter. Those are the several components of the tidyverse universe. Okay. Uh, just as a remark, I'm using Jupyter Notebooks on Azure. Okay, so just run that again. Um, just a sort of quick remark. Every like it's important to read these actually because they are sources of error. But um, just in case of any clashes, I'm just going to run it again to sort of close it down. Now. Uh, this is a package I'm going to use and it is called methcomp and there's a very good data set in there and this was written by uh, Bendix Karstensen and I think Lyle Gorin uh, from Denmark and uh, Australia respectively. Apologies if the name there are the names are slightly misspelled, okay? And it's a package called methcomp, capital M and capital C. It's for method comparison, okay? Now, uh, I'm not actually gonna do any method comparison, but I'm interested in a data set in, contained in that package called SBP. SBP actually stands for systolic blood pressure, okay? So there we have it there. And it is, Okay, so what I actually did, it, it, it's essentially, I'll actually show you the tail of it uh, as well. So it's essentially what we have here is, let's give that a second to run. The dimensions of SBP is, I think it's 765, okay. And let's just look at the summary of it. Okay, so it's got three methods, uh, J, R, and S, and uh, there's 255 observations for each method, okay? There's 85 items and three replicates, okay? And then we have the Y measurement, which is an actual numeric uh, value, okay? So what happens here is that there's 85 people who get measured three times by three different measurements. That is to say that there is nine measurements per person, three by each, three for each uh, method of comparison, okay? The J method, the R method, and the S method. Okay, so what I'm gonna use here is, I'm gonna create um, a little, uh, essentially what I'm gonna do is spread it out. I'm gonna call this SBP2, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna spread systolic blood uh, blood pressure SBP uh, by replicate and Y okay so SBP so essentially I'm going to have all three replicates measurements by each uh, person by uh, uh, by each method all spread out like that okay now what I can do here additionally is actually just update the names okay so that's what spread does actually I just it just actually sort of spreads it out so it sort of folds it into um, it, fold, it folds it up basically into tightens it up into a, a much more compact data set. So we're widening it, okay. Now there's also set names there to actually just change the names, okay. I'm going to leave set names out of it, but if you want to leave set names as is, I tell you what, you, you fix the set names at the end. Okay, so that's why I'm not going to leave, uh, leave there. So you can just tidy up the names at the end when you're finished what you're doing. Okay. Uh, if you want to go in reverse, um, what you could do there is just actually, if you want to, if you actually in the opposite situation and you want to go in reverse, you can use gather. Okay. So this is to actually go backwards. SBP2. And what we're going to do here is by replicate, or a, a call replicate and why um, uh, the these values here uh, three to five okay 
So essentially what we're going to do here is create a replicate with, uh, with the names, these names here. That's a replicate variable and these will be the values, okay? And we're going to create a variable y and we're going to use the values from 3 to 5, which is the third to fifth column up here. So this is the name of the new variable. This is the name of the other new variable. This is the column names. This is the actual values. And this is the values that will be used to populate it. Okay. So that's just how we would go in reverse. Now that's the tidy R package. Okay. It requires a little bit of work. Okay. Now I want to go a little bit further actually. Okay. So there's another package. So tidy R is one of them. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here is use, it's very easy to use, but what I am going to do is I need something a bit stronger, a bit heavy duty. So I'm going to use uh, the R-Shape 2, sorry, Reshape 2 package. Okay. And uh, there we are. And what I'm going to do is to use this command decast. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, sort of cast it out, which is to say widen it. Okay and what i'm going to do there so it's item by method and replicate okay so x table there is actually just to be able to turn that into a latex table because this is the type of way you might want to present it something like that okay so there we have it there let's just run that again let's make sure it works j1 j2 j3 j4 so it comes up with oh, sorry r1 r2 it comes up with those variable names itself and you see, this is where you can use, um, this is where you can use set names after this. Okay, it's not, uh, so you use the you do the uh, namings of the columns. You tidy up a bit like that right at the end. Okay, and so that's the sort of how you might widen a long data set. Okay, decast from the, um, from the, um. R shape two package. Now the the opposite of decast is melt. Okay, so that's just going reverse. Okay, and that's just a quick example of it there. And yeah, I think that's really much everything I want to say. You can use decast for a couple of other things as well, but um, that's sort of going slightly outside the point of the video. I'm just going to sort of make a quick uh, and short uh, video about widening and turning long data to wide data. So that's going a little bit beyond what I need. Okay.